Alrighty, Rhea Ripley retained the WWE Women's World Heavyweight Championship against Becky Lynch in a hot opener that had Philadelphia screaming to the heavens. And then we had some stuff between the LWO Hollywood and LWO Wolfpack. We have new tag team champions. They split them up again. Let's see if they do it right this time. Probably not, but we'll see. Let's be positive, positive. Sheik is always positive. Number one, Bubba. Iran, number one. Ha, toy. Ah, oh, when he made Mean Gene laugh when he potatoed the turkey, that was so goddamn good. But Iron Sheik was not on the show. Rest in peace, Sheiky baby. And we also got the debut of Jade at Mania. And also, we have a new Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn, deep-throated. The Ring General Gunther, ending his 666-day reign. And then, about an hour of Rock and Roman, tweet, 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 against Rollins and Cody, tweet, tweet. And now the bloodline and everybody is going to invade the Mania Night 2 main event. But before that, let's see if Cody can capture the WWE Universal Heavyweight Championship against all odds. Curse you, TNA! That means you've won. Let's talk about this show. I'm John Renton with my review, WWE WrestleMania 40 Night 1. Okay, for those of you that follow me on Twitter... <clears throat> I apologize for the fact that I'm doing this review solo. My best friend Chris, a.k.a. The Derbinator, was um, watching this with me, but he had family commitments, had to leave, and that's why I'm doing this review solo. But he sends his regards. Thank you guys very much for, you know, wondering how he was doing, and hopefully, maybe later in the year, we will be doing a game stream or two, because it's fun, and it was great to hang out with my best friend and share some laughs, because let me tell you, some of the show, you need to laugh at it. There were some really, really good moments on this show, but god damn it, that main event, if you had <coughs> cut it down to about 25 minutes, it would have been great. I understand being deliberate, but this was actually worse than laborious. It was almost glacial. But that being said, 68,000 people according to WrestleTix, not 72,500 something like WWE said. I don't care if the field can fit more people. They count staff and everything, but WWE has never inflated their numbers. And also, I do want to say <coughs> a review of NXT Stand Deliver will be happening sometime after this review goes up because I had to work about nine hours a day and I'm on almost no goddamn sleep, but wrestling, wrestling. So, yeah, Meek Mill was uh, doing the narration for the opening package. I don't know who Meek Mill is. Apparently he's a rapper, and that much I know, and let's just say the West Texas Rednecks were correct. Um, okay, so Coco Jones or Coco Chanel open Coco the Clown Room did the national anthem. And it sounded like the Dan Rather impression of Family Guy. If you get it, you get it. <clears throat> um, Triple H comes out to a pop. This is the first WrestleMania where Vince is not running things. Wild. So, welcome to WrestleMania. Triple H getting his game stroked right there. <clears throat> to be fair, for the issues that I have with Triple H, for, you know, my own, you know, my own, you know, personal reasons, I am glad that Vince is out of the picture. Now we'll see who else is out of the picture if Endeavor has to future Endeavor anyone else. <laughs> Becky comes out to a pop, and apparently she had strep throat and had to get a penicillin shot or something just to get through this. And you could tell that there were going to be issues, but guess what? She powered through it. I've had strep throat. I actually ended up having <clears throat> major issues. In fact, one of the reasons why I have at times a persistent cough is because I got fucked up up having strep. I had strep in 2005, December 2005, in the early 2006. <laughs> lost 30 pounds. I lost 30 pounds with uh, strep and a super flu back in 2017. So, yeah, I know how bad it is. And Becky is a hell of a goddamn athlete powering through good shit. Rhea had, um, I don't remember the name of the band. I'm just going to call them Marilyn White because I thought that was Marilyn Manson at first. <laughs> Playing her to the ring. The 8K cameras for the uh, intros. Ha, 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 Kier. Ha. This is what you get for your respectful thoughts about Liv. This is what you get. 8K cameras. Ha. Poor, poor Kier. I like Kier. What a great guy. Stop thinking about it, Kier. I know you're thinking about it. Liv isn't even on the show. Get some help. 
Rhea Ripley against Becky Lynch. What a way to open the goddamn show. <coughs> the crowd was up. Becky powered through a whole lot of stuff and was there for everything. Um, I do want to mention a couple jokes <clears throat> from Derb during this, so he's here in spirit. You think if she killed anyone, they'd uh, diarrhea? Because he's just that goddamn funny. I, <coughs> I popped. It was funny to me. Becky powering through. <clears throat> good near falls. Good pace here. The women were fucking killing it. They were taking the <clears throat> crowd on a ride. Uh, there was a standing clover queef, as I like to call it. <clears throat> Manhandle slam for two. A riptide for two. Then they started busting out more shit. <clears throat> doing some... The superplex float over into the disarmor. That was nicely done. And then electric chair on the floor. No way to protect yourself. I'm glad Becky was okay, because that looked really painful. Frog splash for two. <clears throat> And then a riptide into the corner. And then a riptide. Again, one, two, three. Rhea and Becky. Hell of an opening match. One of the best matches of the year. It doesn't measure up to what uh, Rhea and Charlotte did last year. But that was like lightning in a bottle. It just was really, really... It, it was really well done. Really well done. And then, the worst tag team in all of WWE, pretty deadly, uh, talks about the six-pack challenge tag teams. God forbid they're going to be tag team champions by the end of the year. I'm also going to mention here that if I don't review as much weekly <coughs> WWE, like, after <coughs> Mania, you know, going forward, if I just review it occasionally, don't be surprised. But the six-pack ladder challenge tag title match for the SmackDown <coughs> and... Raw Tag Team Championships. They're not unifying them anymore. It's DIY dressed up like DX because of the joke that Truth did. Speaking of Truth, here's Awesome Truth, Miz and Truth. Uh, Waller and Theory, A-Town Down Under. <coughs> and New Day, Kofi and... <coughs> almost like Kofi and Big E. Big E was not wrestling. If Big E has a healthy quality of life, I'm all for it. But it's Kofi and Xavier. Bait and Dunn, the new uh, Catch-22 Republic. No, it's the new Catch Republic. And Judgment Day members, <coughs> Priest and Balor. All six teams, Human Centipede together. This was a car wreck and a half. And all these bumps in a match that nobody will remember by tomorrow. I guarantee 95% of the fans that watch this show will not remember that ladder match happened by the time Monday comes along. <coughs> uh, Bait and Dunn end up <coughs> just, um, <coughs> falling on each other at some point. There is the bait and Balor full, because there was a lift where Balor got spun around while a ladder was on him. Um, <clears throat> they love truth. The wooden ladders. And look, I'm all for having people safe, or having their safety, you know, top priority. Maybe don't book a match where so many things could go wrong <clears throat> and these ladders could give way. That happened a little bit later on. So the match <clears throat> legit had scary spots where people were really getting hurt. But it also seemed really, really stagey and not, you know, it took me out of it just because of the condition of the ladder and also the ladders and just the way they were doing shit. So it was a give and take. And Waller and Theory won the SmackDown tag titles, but they could go for the others. They weren't able to win those, though. Gargano spikes himself through a table because he's a fucking idiot. And then an air raid crash to bait from uh, Ciampa because Ciampa apparently was spending the next six months on the goddamn shelf. JD interferes, and he gets sent through a table. One ladder is fucked. Referee Jess, I believe, the very, very um, attractive referee that they have. Very talented, but very attractive referee. Was like, hey, Priest, that ladder is fucked. Truth gets a set of uh, tag tiles for Raw, and him and Awesome Truth win. And that's a nice moment. Truth nearly losing his leg, apparently, because of his injury, and also Ms. Uh, Maurice you know, the gangster of love, roo, roo, you know, his wife <clears throat> battling through uh, ca a cancer diagnosis, which I hope she beats. <laughs> Fuck cancer. But it was a nice moment for them. It was a nice moment. Match was a goddamn mess. I didn't really care for it. Um, <clears throat> Dominic Graphic. Uh, <laughs> Derb referred to it as Mexican Skeletor. <laughs> Ole. I don't remember how he actually said it. It was a while ago. Ray and Andrade, Ole Ole O, along with the rest of LWO Hollywood, took on Santos and Dominic with LWO Wolfpack. <coughs> Sponsored by Minute Maid, Angus Fresca. You ain't slick. Because you're not Jive Soul Bros. I didn't care. I'm sorry. I did not fucking care. 
missed it by that much, Selena. She missed the spot. Um, one of the Ke the retired Kels or Kelsey brother, or um, who Kels could it be? As Derb said, there was that a bald guy, the one guy that retired from the Eagles, and some bald guy. I didn't catch the name. I don't pay attention to the NFL anymore. A splash wins it. Um, Ray beat his kid. Don't worry, it's not the worst thing that a wrestler did to his son. By the way, I think the dogs are in the, in the enclosed pool area and the side garage door is open. Oh my god, he's dead. What's wrong with me? Oh my god, all the sons are dead. All the sons are dead except one. Poor Doris and Fritz. Alright, yeah, they all celebrated. And then during the Uso package, Herb decided to say, Batu Barata Nikto. <laughs> okay. So, it's an Uso crazy package. Little Wayne, or Lil Wayne, wraps Jay to the ring. Lil Wayne apparently is a really nice guy. You know what, Lil Wayne isn't any good. I'm, I do not get the appeal of him. I just don't. Jay and Jim Uso had one of the most boring matches I've seen in a while. I mean, I get what they were going for, and there was supposed to be some theater. I didn't care for this. <clears throat> I did not care for this at all. This needed more kicks. It needed more pumped up kicks. You better run, you better run, outrun. Never mind. And then Jim tries to apologize, and Jay <coughs> fell for it, but still won. I know that this is going to sound funny, <coughs> but I didn't really... I was zoning out of this match. It wasn't just because I had my best friend over <coughs> hanging out for the first time in a while. I didn't care for this because I just did, I didn't care. I appreciated what they were trying to do, and I'm sure it was a thrill for them. And those that liked it, great. It didn't matter to me. Jesus Christ, Dakota. God, she looked great. Um, that that entrance for Damage Control was total fan service. And Asuka dancing to all the music, like uh, Naomi, Naomi, Bianca, and Jade, Jade, as Storm or something. I actually thought she was um, one of the characters from Atlantis. Atlantis, the Lost Empire. So the big three, as they're called, Jade, Bianca, and Naomi gets Damage Control members. Um, Dakota Kai, Asuka, and Kyrie Sane. Kyrie's hair was bigger than her. I couldn't unsee it, and it was impossible to focus on anything else. And this was sponsored by Wingstop. Well, three African Americans in the goddamn court. Yeah! You ain't slick! You still ain't Jive Soul Bros? Look, they built up to Jade being tagged. That was the whole point. They. Set the pace well. This match could have easily been on TV, but it was a big moment. <clears throat> Got everybody on the card. This wasn't bad. At least it didn't overstay its welcome. <clears throat> um, there was that hair whip to Asuka that echoed. It didn't echo as loud as the one to Sasha Banks, now Mercedes Monet. But <clears throat> this, it, they fed Jade just fine. Jade was there for every spot. And there was, you know, the big old melee and everything. And then jaded, you know, after holding Dakota up for a while, for an eternity, she hits that, leans back and does the hand thing like she did to Kyrie, breaking the internet once again. And Jade gets the victory. Good. It served its purpose. It absolutely served its purpose. And then Sammy's son and his wife are backstage. Sammy's son looked like he wanted to go home. He looked confused. Is he okay? Um, Chad, I said, is going to turn soon on Sammy. Um, Owens hugs Sammy, and Sammy goes out, gets a big old pop, big throbbing adulation, and Gunther is as close to a perfect wrestler as you're going to get. It's him and MJF as far as just the complete package and everything. It, as far as, you know, today, in my personal opinion. And you got Okada, and you got Thunder Rosa. This is, and Rhea has... The complete package also. A lot of really good talent in multiple companies. Gunther, the Ring General, against Sammy for the Intercontinental Championship. Big highlight. Very big highlight. <clears throat> Much highlight. Such wow. Crowd loves Sammy. Those chops echoed. Gunther was beating the shit out of him. Sammy's wife is in the front row. I thought that was his mother at first. I need to stop being mean to people because I won't. Sammy fires back. Gets locked in a choke. More chops. And Gunther starts playing with him. He hits the drop kick out of the corner. Sammy's staring up at the spotlight after a powerbomb. But one, two, kick out. Oh, shit. 
Haluba kick. One. No. <clears throat> he couldn't get the victory. And then two power bombs for two. And I'm like, after that, I go, Sammy might actually do it. <laughs> he might actually do it. But then Gunther takes back over and tortures uh, Sammy in front of his wife. See, if he'd done this to Chris Benoit, then uh, Nancy and Daniel would still be alive. What is wrong with me? Answer us in the comments, please. One splash. Second splash. <clears throat> Three times a splasher. I don't know. We <clears throat> got a haluva kick. And then we got the brain buster <clears throat> in the goddamn corner. Which is much safer than what Osprey and Takeshita did. At, uh, even though it was a really cool spot, it was still more dangerous. But Sammy protected him with his shoulder. You know, his surgically repaired shoulder. One of two. I believe he's had surgery on both. Um, but he ended up hitting the Haluba kick finally. One, two, three, and 666 days. That's where it ends. And Gunther realizes, look at me, Imperium. It's all for you. I don't know what that accent was. So, <clears throat> Big Pop, everything happens at WrestleMania. <clears throat> Derb said, I remember the Treaty of Versailles being signed there. Sir, a second, sir, a second title change has happened at WrestleMania. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I don't care anymore. Oh, I need a filter, and I haven't had a filter for like 20 years. It's a big deal. You know what? Good on Sammy. <clears throat> I don't think he's going to hold it very long, but... Gunther needs to chase after the world title. <clears throat> I don't care if he goes after it on SmackDown. I don't care if he goes after it on Raw. I don't care. He needs to be champion. Aldous and Pearson announced the number, as, attendance number, as 72,543. You, you, you bullshit. You fucking liars. You liars. You lying liars who lie. <clears throat> who are all these people that are in the front row? Apparently there's, there's Wale. I, I've heard he has a mania thing going on. I don't know who any of these people were. There was a guy named Drusky, which just sounds like a brand of vodka, which, quite frankly, I would need to drink vodka probably to put up with anything that these people do. Um, <clears throat> made him a video package, and they highlight this stuff well. Cody gets a big pop. <clears throat> um, Brandy's dad, who apparently has gone through a lot of health issues, and <clears throat> Cody's, Cody's mother are in the crowd. And you know what? I'm glad that Brandy's dad has a clean bill of health. He's, he's still here. Bowed through a lot of illnesses. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> Rock gets a lightning and flame entrance. He's got a big flaming head. If there's one thing that I could appreciate, it's a big flaming Johnson right in my screen. So I will be taking no further questions, by the way. But he gets a big old you know entrance. <clears throat> Celebrates with the People's Championship that he got. During an angle that they got out of the Lonnie Ali speech for some reason. Roman's long entrance. <laughs> Heyman being very jovial, saying that he's just getting started. Let's get it started in here. And 15 minutes of entrances and intros. There were large gaps between these matches. It's WrestleMania. Big deal. But this was <clears throat> a layered card. And unfortunately, it was layered in the beginning with something good. Eh... And then you had the six-woman tag. And then you had the Intercontinental Championship. And you had other stuff. <clears throat> but Rock and Roman, tweet, tweet, tweet. Rock and Roman against Cody and Seth. Tweet, tweet. 44 minutes, 35 seconds, according to Wikipedia. I checked that just before I started this review. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I know they had to do a deliberate pace. I didn't want Rock going 100 miles an hour. He's going to be 52 soon. He <clears throat> suffered a lot of injury. I think he tore his abdominal muscle at WrestleMania 29. I get it. I don't I don't mind a little bit of storytelling. I don't mind them picking things up. There were good moments, <clears throat> but nobody can tell me that this match needed to be that long. It did not. If I'm going to complain about AEW having long matches, if I'm going to complain about New Japan having long matches just for the sake of it, making a match longer doesn't help. <clears throat> so... The crowd had, uh, The Rock had him eaten out of the palm of his hand. <clears throat> and the referee was going to uh, disqualify or count on. He says, you do that, you're fucking fired. And the ref's like, God damn it. I have a family to feed. <laughs> and they battle all over the floor. Rollins and Roman battle on the goddamn stage. And Cody and Rock battle somewhere on the floor. <clears throat> again, I get it. Rock's the final body, you know, <clears throat> all that. It makes sense. As far as him just making up his own rules, this didn't need to go so long. 
This took a while. I get that they were, I get the point. The point was made, the right result happened, but it took forever. The, I thought we were about to get Rock sharding himself. We were back at the shart shooter. And Roman was bleeding from the nose. Ow! I need that. Shout out to Catwoman13. You made me bleed my own blood. And then a cutter and a splash for two. And then a stomp and a crossroads for two. And then Rock pulls the referee out because when a flaming Johnson wants to yank on you, you're going to take it. No further questions. Mama Rhodes is pissed, and then the cutter stops the elbow, and the crowd was booing, saying bullshit. They weren't saying bullshit, but they were booing. They wanted to see that. Um, and <coughs> it was a good spot, but still, they, they were booing Cody. We get the punch, the spear, and <coughs> to rock on accident, because um, we got, oh my god, like, you know, after a punch to Cody... Seth gets uh, Cody out of the way, a spear to rock, and I thought they would have saved that till tomorrow. But no, 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 no. Maybe we're going to get that turn sooner. And double pedigree for two. The referee held up on the count for about eight years. <clears throat> Rollins dives on Roman. The Prime display got knocked over a whole bunch. Prime is ass, by the way. I have tried multiple flavors of Prime, and it tastes horrible. It tastes absolutely horrible. The announcer's table bump, a rock bottom to rock. Hey, rock was taking a ton of this shit. He is going to be <coughs> sitting in a goddamn bath for a while. He ain't going to be around much after Mania. I mean, he'll probably be around on the SmackDown after Mania, and that's about it. But <coughs> then we got a spear through the barricade to Rollins. Two crossroads. And then Cody, again, does the thing where he's, like, getting to the ropes and, like, this worked out so well for me last year. And, ow, the rock strap came across my back again. Rock bottom. <coughs> People's elbow, one, two, three. Cody takes the fall, so it's going to be bloodline rules, and they are going to have everybody. Everybody from the bloodline, they're going to have Austin, they're going to have Cena. They're going to resurrect <clears throat> Luthez and have him run down. Everybody who's going to come down is going to look like the <clears throat> biggest goddamn, you know, biggest goddamn war in Philadelphia just before the, you know, <clears throat> uh, Declaration of Independence was signed, which Zoe was actually there in attendance for. Yeah, nice little dig for no goddamn reason. That being said, <clears throat> right result at the end. Gives you some intrigue heading into night two. But this went way too long. Had they cut this down by a half hour, it would have been a whole lot better. That's my opinion. Served its purpose. Took forever to get there. But we got Rhea versus Becky. We got New York Continental Champion. We got Jade's debut. Or <clears throat> Mania debut, that is. So... There was some good stuff. There was also some stuff that was filler, and I still barely know her. On that note, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Rethlin. I'll see you soon.